New at 530, she's the woman who's garnered a lot of attention by the side of Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava during the Surfside tragedy. But she doesn't want this story to be about her, so it's not. CBS4's Hank Tester introduces you to certified deaf interpreter Brenda Atkinson. Brenda Atkinson getting ready for another day. This day providing sign language interpretation for a press conference dealing with COVID-19. Atkinson, one of Miami-Dade County's few certified sign language interpreters, started very young. I was asked to assist in the deaf classroom and very young. I was nine or ten years old and it just stayed with me. A USF degree in teaching American Sign Language, press conference begins, Atkinson stands right next to the mayor. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us here today. If you recognize Atkinson, you should. She was a fixture during every press conference during the Surfside condo tragedy. And the reason you saw her? A strategic move by Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, who instructed Atkinson. From day one, stand as close to me as you can to make sure they don't cut you out. Always an issue for the deaf community and interpreters, often not included in the TV shots, here barely on the screen. Hearing impaired can't see the interpretation. Not so during the Surfside press conferences. Nobody asked her to do this. She truly cares about all the citizens in this community. Almost 9% of Miami-Dade County residents have hearing issues. Thousands do depend on sign language interpretation. Please join me in praying for their families and their loved ones and those who are still waiting and waiting for news. Not an easy task signing during such a tragic and sensitive event. American Sign Language is very, very direct. There is no fluffy words. It's blunt, it's visual. And I really struggled with how to put out that concept of remains, um, DNA, just some of those aspects of talking about the reality of who tr tragically died in that building. Atkinson hopes her presence at Surfside will lead to more consideration for certified death interpreters, not just on TV, but wherever needed. I can only hope that this mayor really has um, set the example for all other entities in Miami to follow. Because we have deaf people every day being denied services. Atkinson is quick to say this story should not be about her, but about the folks she was signing about, the victims, the families, the search and rescue teams that spent a month on the pile of rubble that was once the Champlain Towers South. I'm Hank Tuster, CBS4 News.